Yeah, I, I said it to the guys, and I, I meant it. Uh, th those guys, they, they pushed themselves there. I've, I've never been uh, more proud of a group uh, from the adversity that we had early on and just sticking with it. Uh, uh, in my 17 years, 18 years of coaching, uh, this is just a fantastic group of guys and uh, very, very, very proud of what they accomplished. Glenn, what's the feeling like on the bench when that empty netter goes in? You know, I, I, it was funny. Uh, you know, I thought I was the only guy nervous. Uh, but uh, when Benny came out of the box and got the empty netter, like I watched all the guys stand up and, and, and start hugging each other when it went in. So I could tell that uh, they, they felt probably a little bit the same as me. And it was a special moment there. I, I can tell you the guys were, were truly excited. It was, uh, yeah, it was something I'll, I'll remember for sure. Glenn, on uh, the, they had just cut the lead to 2-1 and Matt Stage had got a, a big goal to restore that 2 goal cushion. He's been a guy that moved up in the line to play on that third line, which I want to see out of the stage lately. Yeah, at, at times there, he's been so, uh, with Stage just through the whole season, if you know the man, uh, just a great leader in our locker room. Uh, he's grabbed a hold of the, the penalty killing role and done a fantastic job all year. Moved him up, uh, hard matchups, and he's done a great job for us. I was glad to see him get get the goal. Um, we did shuffle some lines there in the in the second, uh, and I thought it gave us a little bit of spark. Uh, but I, I can't say enough about Stage. He's he's a, he's a real leader for us and a great veteran voice in that room.